Hi, I'm Kevin Smith for Gretzky.com. I've always wanted to say that. And uh, we're going to take you on a little tour of a very special place. If you're here at this website, then you've probably seen this tour before, but you've never seen it with me. And it's not going to be impressive because all I did was sit there and like, huh? But still, Wally brought us over to his house here at Variety Avenue, and we got to take a little tour and go downstairs to the basement and whatnot. So come on in. I'll show you. that you see here, these are some of the trophies. We have at the Gretzky restaurant in Toronto, right. Wayne's Trophies. Which I've eaten at, excellent pierogies. Oh, <laughs> that's grandma's, mama's pierogies. This is stick number nine of 13, used by Wayne on the night he became hockey's all-time leading scorer. Uh, 1,859 points or something, whatever it is. Anyways, Stick number nine of 13, which means every time he went on the ice, he took a different stick. He went on the ice 13 times, and he signed everyone, and so did Gordy Howe, and here's more. Is that a, who got the fishing trophy? That would likely be me. <laughs> <laughs> all those are plaques under there. There's just no room. There's just no room to hang them all. Where are you going to put them? Since there's just so much of it, do you ever lose perspective or your appreciation for it. It's just like, ah, it's just another award. I still can't believe that this is happening this very day. I'm 70 years old, and it's just like a dream. I'm, I, too, am a pack rat, um, but I don't have any trophies whatsoever. I just keep everything, too. It's nice. So you know what I'm saying? It's because, because like today, you and I standing here, that won't happen again. Exactly. See? Oh, no, why? You're not going to let me back? <laughs> I love these chairs, man. I read them out. I read them about them in your book. The blind school makes oh, yeah, them CNIB. Yeah. And you know what? You take these chairs right here. How we are in North America? These are broken hockey sticks. All this goes into the garbage. Right. If it was Europe, every bit of that broken stick could be re reused one way or another. We're slowly learning, mm -hmm. but very slow. Still, I, I can go to all the rinks and I can get a transport truck full of broken sticks that's going to the garbage. From Montreal Forum. Forum. I was say the college and of college course, college. Uh, Jean Beliveau was here to sign it. Guy Lafleur, they were here in the house and they signed it. Amazing. That picture was taken after the final game at the Hesper Minor Olympics when he was 10 years old. He scored. It was right after he scored his 50th goal in seven games. Unbelievable. It's impossible. You guys are impossibly good people. How is this possible? Where's the dark side? Well, I half expect you to open up the door and be like, this is where I keep my Asian slave children. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> there has to be a dark side. Sooner or later, you guys just have to uh, suck it up and open the museum. You got so much stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. There's so much stuff. Wayne used to play his hockey right down here. Right down here. It was a cement floor. Just some cement walls, and he'd skate around here on his stocking feet and fire pucks. Tremendous. And you just no clue all that was going on that one day it would just be filled never, with all the. Never ever dreamed it would ever be like this. Never ever. And the only reason I made the rink in the backyard is just so that he had some place to play, so I didn't have to go to the outdoor parks and freeze to death. Exactly. You were smart. Yeah. Self-preservation. Oh, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>